Welcome to another episode of Run With and this one is slightly different. So this week I am following two runners as they embark on a marathon journey. They're doing a marathon time trial this Sunday. Um, they are doing the Shepherdine, I think it's Shepherdine Marathon at Gloucester which is a time trial format, five laps. Today I am here to catch up with Andy. He's doing his last session before the marathon. Um, he's out on the lake at the moment doing some laps and doing his session. So I'm going to grab him for a few words and see how he's feeling ahead of Sunday. Many of you will know Andy from his YouTube vlogging. He is the Forrester Dean Runner, FOD Runner on YouTube, where he shares shoe reviews, he shares his training vlogs, and he does some pretty intense training. It will be great to hear from Andy and Liam and see how their build-up has gone for this marathon, what their goals are, and whether they hit it on Sunday. I will be there on the race day, filming them and catching them afterwards if they hit their goals or not. So I'm here at the lake, <laughs> trying to get a few words from Andy. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> This is the amateur vlogger interviewing the professional vlogger who should know what he's doing. So you've just done your last session ahead of your unexpected marathon on Sunday. Yes. And it is, the, we're not sure how to pronounce it, Shep Shepardine, Shepardine. We'll roll with that, Shepardine. Somewhere near Gloucester. But yeah. it's, a, <laughs> it's a time trial format, five laps. Yes. And it wasn't your original goal. No. So you've been training and vlogging and documenting all of that for a mountain ultra. Mm -hmm. ultra? Yeah, marathon. 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 Um, and that's been cancelled. Yes. Many races have. Yeah. Um, so this is a last minute entry. Yes. So your training hasn't been geared towards the marathon. No. A, a road marathon. No. Say. <laughs> no. So what has your training looked like over the last few weeks, roughly? I mean, over the summer, my training had been very much geared towards a road marathon. I've been doing really good 20 mile long runs, 22 mile long runs, long run workouts. I was feeling really sharp, just kind of ready and prepared to drop into whatever races might come up. I always like to keep my long runs long for that reason. If a race comes up and with the situation this year, we don't know what races are around. Yeah. So I just thought to myself, if I do the long runs, then if a marathon pops up, I can jump into them. And then of course, with the lockdown and all the races being canceled, trail races popped up before road races so I thought okay let's do a trail marathon so then over the last six to seven weeks the flat long runs have changed from flat long runs and they've gone to uh, long uh, mountainous dare I say it uh, hilly some, hilly long runs yeah four, four three four four and a half thousand foot 20 mile long runs Ooh. lots of walking lots of running mm. a bit of everything and I think from my perspective now dropping into this weekend I think if I'd have dropped into it maybe eight weeks ago, I'd have felt really 100% confident that I could have gone out and got my A goal. Um, but I think now probably the hill work has just taken the edge off it a little bit, but I still feel like all that work I've done in the summer is banked. And uh, so yeah, the training's not been ideal, but I've still been doing runnable marathon workouts on the hills, three by 10 minutes, three by 15 minutes, that sort of thing. So I'm still feeling in relatively good shape. Good, that helps. Um, and what's the plan for Sunday? Are you going for a PB? I'll go for a PB. I've got an A goal, B goal and a C goal. So my last uh, marathon was Abingdon last year. That was a, that's a great event if anyone wants to do a low key, but fast, quick club running, uh, some really quick guys and girls there. Um, and I ran a 2.59 and I kind of hit the wall around mile 21, 22 and, and shuffled home. So I've got a bit of redemption to do. This will be my fifth marathon now and I'm hitting the wall later and later in each one. So I'm hoping this time I can get to at least 23 before I do that. So A goal, uh, A goal if the stars align will be 240. Mm -hmm. uh, B goal will be 245. And then a C goal will be just to get a PB. So anything sub 259. So that's quite a chunk off your PB. I think you've got it in there because your training has been going well, hasn't it? I've, you know, I've you've been happy. You've been putting the miles in, you've been putting the work in, and, yeah. you're, and you're consistent. Time trials have, have indicated that it's possible. And for anybody that is watching, you can also see some of Andy's races. He's been racing um, Matt, haven't you? Yeah. So there's been some time trials, there's been some races, which... Um, like I have not been not successful in. On, <laughs> not racing him on Sunday. No. Um, okay, so the, I, I love that you've got an A, B and C goal. I think yes. that's a, a top marathon tip. Definitely. Definitely. Because I think you can easy. easily, when you... Marathons, more often than not, especially when you're beginners, go not the way you plan yeah. them to go. Go wrong, dare I say it. And I think if you have one goal and then you suddenly realise you're not going to hit that goal, your head 
goes and yeah. I think if your head's gone the race is gone so sometimes you just have to roll with it and adapt as you're going and, and you can find well do you know what I'm not going to hit this time but I've still got a really good chance of hitting this time and if I haven't got a chance of hitting this time then I can at least get my seagull that's yeah. that's how I see it anyway yeah I like that and also I think afterwards because a lot of the time the marathon leaves you disappointed afterwards doesn't it whereas if you've hit some goal yeah you, you feel stuck you can walk away feeling at least accomplished in some way yeah okay amazing um and it's five laps how do you feel about the lap situation really good i like laps yeah. uh, laps work well for me so there's a racing gloucester that i do every year there's the gloucester half and then there's the gloucester 20 both of them are lapped courses i know the laps like the back of my hand i do long run laps sometimes i uh, it's easier to pace yeah. uh, so i can go into sunday not thinking i've run three miles six miles 10 miles 12 15 oh, i've got so many to go i can count the laps down yeah and I can just work through the laps one by one and five miles actually in the grand scheme of a marathon when I do my lapped race in Gloucester that's six mile laps so this will actually feel a little bit better mm -hmm. and it's dead flat so I'm actually really looking forward to it I can pace myself better on laps and I can um, hopefully do well it's just the danger with laps is I can get carried away okay and have you worked out your splits what you need for each lap 607, 607. per lap to get a 240 right okay i'm probably going to go out a touch slower and work into that. it because i will be cheering on sunday i will be filming you on your yes, epic adventure you will. your pb quest oh let's hope so <laughs> okay right i've got a really important question for you uh -oh. as you are mr shoes yeah what shoes are you going for i'm going to go for the next percent i love 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 the endorphin pros they are possibly my favorite shoe fitting wise feeling wise of the year Saucony have done amazing with the endorphin lineup but i cannot look past the fact that the next percent delivers results yeah. i've run quicker times in the next percent than the endorphin pro so it's got to be the next percent yeah okay well i reckon that sounds like a good choice solid choice there fingers crossed fingers crossed so i guess that's it for today and i will be catching up with you morning of the race you will <laughs> the race lives. yeah uh, i'll let you go now because i think you need to kind of get yourself together after your session don't you go and eat <laughs> go, go and eat go and shower and go and get changed your face. I can yeah see it blaring <laughs> but um good luck for sunday thank you very much okay so liam we're here yeah. on a really miserable day ready to take on the marathon yeah so have you you haven't been training for this as such you were meant to do london first off yeah um I was training for london obviously in april and then uh I was training for it for this weekend yeah. but then obviously when it was just for the the pros and the elite uh, i signed up for the wrexham marathon which was meant to be in two weeks but that, that was called off about a week ago <laughs> that was called off too. so uh yeah a bit of an aggressive taper yeah. the last week or so yeah so um yeah good to go Good to go. And yeah. um, what's your training look like? How have you? Yeah, well, around about April, I started doing. After the, the marathon was called off, started doing uh, uh, basic, big mileage weeks with no sessions, yeah. and then and doing periodization. So like four weeks on, week off, four weeks on, and then I suppose um, then we had a baby in May. So yeah. then I had a few weeks off <laughs> for that, and then um, started a proper block in about. Uh, the end of June, beginning of July, so sessions. I just had a, a week off about two weeks ago for a, a knee injury, but seemed to have recovered from that. I was quite mature for once about it. Yeah. Um, took the time off, got a massage, and uh, iced it up, and it seems to be fine now, so okay. good to go. Okay, amazing. Um, and what's been your favorite kind of session to do whilst you've been marathon training? Uh, 10 mile, well, the interesting thing about this is that because I've been managing an Achilles, these are not excuses, I've been doing a lot, all my sessions on the treadmill. Yeah. So what will be interesting about this, I suppose, uh, apart from the weather, is how that translates uh, to the road. Um, so my favourite session for this marathon and my last marathon has been uh, 10 miles uh, marathon pace. Yeah. So I'm just getting used to it, 10 miles, on, on every Tuesday, 10 miles marathon pace. And then Thursdays I do six times one mile yeah. faster. And then I've, uh, obviously the long run, but uh, and then I've thrown in some 20 miles, about 20 mile runs midweek on the treadmill again, at, uh, about 30 seconds uh, slower than marathon pace. So just building up endurance. Um, so yeah, those are the basic, yeah. basic ones. Yeah. Sounds good. And you're feeling confident apart from the weather. 
<laughs> yeah, well, the aim is, well, the PB is 232. Yeah, and your PB, that's pretty awesome because your first marathon was 5... 535. 535, so that's crazy. Three, three years ago, so I've been working my way down and then... So this time last year in Berlin I got uh, 232, so I have to go for sub 230, even with the weather. I've got to, There's no point going for 231, so yeah. we'll see where it goes, but I'll give them the best. Anyway, yeah, so. amazing. And how, how are you feeling? Um, like what's, your, what, what's your race tactics today? Are you going to go out? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and run 540s again, seeing how the conditions are, and then just see if it feels all right. If it, if it feels all right, I'm going to um, hold, it, hold it that. Uh, obviously, in an ideal world, it'd be a um, negative split, but I'm just going to hold 540s and see what happens. See what happens. Yeah, if, it, if it feels yeah, if it feels hard in the wind, I'm, I might have to um, go a bit slower in the first half. I don't, I don't but we'll just I'm just going to go for it. Just so, go for it. Yeah, see go what for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it will get tough like that at some point. What's yeah. your favourite race venture, or what gets you through the tough patches? Uh, just well, I just repeat, lock it in. Lock it I don't. In. It's just the thing. I, yeah. I think I heard someone say once. Just lock in whatever feels comfortable. Well, on the brink of comfortable and, and tough. So yeah, just lock it in. Amazing. Well, I'm really excited to watch you today. So I'll be cheering you on each lap. Uh, thanks. Your split show today. <laughs> yeah. Well, five mile splits. Will it? Yes, yes, five. five mile splits. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Five miles. Do you yeah. like the fact that it's loops or would you rather? Yeah, I, I don't mind. I like. I quite like a bit of monotony. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So got, it's good yeah. you know what to expect. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Well, I'm going to let you <laughs> get, out <laughs> get out of the rain and do your thing. Right, morning, Andy. Good morning. How are we feeling? I was all right until I saw how bad this weather was, but I'm feeling all right. Just, yeah. We'll see how the weather goes and see how it pays out today. Yeah. Up early, ready, had yeah. your breakfast. 2.30 this morning I was up, baby didn't go back to sleep. Oh, so. nightmare. Yeah, but I did get a good solid three hours. So feeling good, lots of porridge, lots of electrolyte drinks. Yeah, I, in myself, I'm feeling good. Okay. I, if the weather was better, I'd be super confident. We'll just have to play it by ear. I'm running with Lee today, so hopefully we'll take it in turns at the front and uh, shelter each other from the winds and we'll see how it goes. Shout each other, egg each other on and take it in turns to... It's pretty windy, right? It's really... Like, the wind wasn't meant to be as bad as it is, but like just getting up this morning, getting out here walking, I can see what direction the wind's going to go. I think we're going to have it behind us as we come back this way and as we go out on the lap, it's going to be... It's going to be evil. It's going to be evil, but do you know what? It's uh, It's a race. It's Why a are we race. complaining? Yeah. It's a race. <laughs> it's a race. It's super exciting. Few and far between, and it means you can have a crack at the marathon. Yeah. It's got to be hardcore anyway, right? Because it's a marathon. It is never anything less. I've done five marathons and I've hit the wall five times. So, you know, what's, what's new about this? It's just going to be bad <laughs> weather this time. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I'm really excited to watch you. I say watch you and cheer you. Um, I'd be I might get a bit wet. If, you, if I was you. <laughs> I might pop out, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'll get you each lap. Um, so you're going to go and warm up now? Yeah. Yeah. Quick 10 minutes, get ready. We've got about 20 minutes to go. So yeah, quick 10 minutes, stretch out, and then just get lined up and go. Going at 8.03. Amazing. This It does feel like rustic grassroots. Yeah. Basic as it comes. Definitely. <laughs> Racing. Definitely. Well, good luck, Andy. Go smash it. Thank you very much. So it is interviewing on the go. Um, I'm sat in my boot. I'm not able to set up the cameras properly, so it's a slightly different format for this uh, this episode of Run With. It's on the go, it's a bit rustic, it's a bit raw, but you know it's real. This is what real runners are facing all over the country today, doing virtual London Marathon and other virtual marathons that are going on. Um, and there are a few time trial races like this one today. Um, it is absolutely dire. I can't describe to you how dire the weather is, but uh, chances are if you've run today, um, as this will be going out obviously later in the week, then you will know how bad the weather is. Um, but I've got the easy part. I have to just stand there and support them and really cheer them on and hope that they get their PBs. Um, whether they will or not, we'll find out. You look a bit cold, Andy. <laughs> Are you filming? I'm shivering. It's so cold. We've got to run through, just, just zooming on the shoes. You have to run through this at the end. Lifting Nora. Good luck, Andy. 
out of the end. Keep it up. Cross, cross. One down. Well done. Keep it up. Well done, you two. Come on. You got it. Well done, come on, kick at it. So Liam is currently three laps down, so he's over halfway. Um, looking really good, he's up at the front all on his own. Um, so that's a hard, hard graph. Um, but yeah, he, he looks to be going good. Not quite sure on the times because I can't multitask that well. But um, I think he's on track. Uh, so just waiting now for Andy on his lap three. Looking good, Andy! Yeah, he's good! Come on! So Andy has just done his third lap. Um, he's looking really good. Um, and he's joking away. Asking about Liam. Uh, so that's a good sign. Come on, stick at it! One more lap, that's it. Go on, you got it. Come on, Andy. That's it now, just one more lap. Come on. So I am back in the car trying to warm up my hands because they've stopped working. Um, but that's the fourth lap done for the boys. Liam is in trouble with his knee. Uh, hopefully he's gone back out to do the fifth lap um, and I'm hoping that he can finish um, but it has slowed him down considerably um, just hope he's not in too much pain out there and he wasn't so jovial on the fourth lap or the completion of the fourth lap um, he's now digging deep um, which is good because I'd have worried if he was joking around and talking this time around uh, so just wait for them to finish their last lap now and then the little finishing straight and we will have them in. You're doing amazing. Come on, just wrap it up now. Go on, Liam. Go on. Come on, wrap it up now, boys. Come on, Andy. Come on, Liam. Right. All right, yeah. well done, well done. Thank Great you. run. Thank you. All right, yeah. yeah. That was so hard at the end. Oh, I know. So I, I know. Stop about five times. I know. Or maybe more every mile. Well What's the scores on the doors? Oh, 238. Yeah. I think. What did you, what did you get? Uh, 231 to me. 231. <laughs> <laughs> 244 35 baby! Boom! So actually you started first. Him, he'll, he'll... You both pointed to each other! <laughs> <laughs> oh I started first, yeah, he'll yeah. have a quicker time. Oh fantastic guys, well done. Oh thank you so much. You're awesome. And thank you for the team for organising it. Massive TV, yeah. That well done. 244. In these conditions, that's oh, incredible. Honestly. That last headway there, we have oh, paced yeah. 23 miles and then bam. I just swore on Ed, bleep. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have it out. <laughs> YouTube sensation. 244.35, baby. Amazing. So happy. On that course, in that weather, that was insane. I don't know how you did. I don't know how you did that because that was just savage. Wow, well, that is a 14-minute PB, no, 15-minute PB. Oosh. 2:59 was the last one. 2:44:35. Action. Action. So then, 
post-race break day. How are you both feeling? Andy, do you want to go first? Um, am I allowed to swear? Yeah. I, can I won't swear. <laughs> I am absolutely knackered, but over the moon. Uh, 14 minute PR, 244.35. That is huge. Huge, huge today. And Liam, how'd you get on? Uh, 238. 238. And you really had to battle then, didn't oh, yeah. you? It's the hardest hardest marathon I've ever done. Yeah. Easily the hardest. Yeah. There's about three mile into the loop. Yeah. You just hit it. And there's a little sign that says hill as well, don't yeah. you? And you hit, the wind hits you and there's a sign that says hill. Yeah. And Mentally you switch off. And the fourth time you see that is just, it was, it was just so tough. And uh, yeah, it's good. Really tough. I think the, the weather conditions today, I think that both of you did absolutely amazing. Any other day, I think that would have been even quicker again. I think what we also found, I don't know if you found it, but it was pretty strategic all going around the loop. Like you had the tail, uh, the side wind, you had the tail wind, you had the side wind, and then you had the head wind. But then on the last lap, the rain eased off, but then the wind changed. And as we were going around there, where we normally had a tail wind, it felt like we had a head wind. And then we on, the turnaround, <laughs> yeah. on the turnaround point, when we came back, we had another head wind. And yeah. it was just like, ah, oh, the wind just would not leave us alone. So, I mean, the times that we've run today on this course in this weather equate to so much better on a better day, I yeah. think. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And also, because it's so, I mean, especially for you, Liam, you were on your own at the front, yeah. just grafting, weren't you? Well, I, I was running with the person in the first lap, but it, he was doing the five miler, so he stopped. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped after one lap, so I was on my own. But um, yeah, it's, I tell you what, the marathon does, it teaches, you to, it teaches you a lesson every now and again, and that one was a big, like, I, maybe I was a bit cocky at the beginning to think. Okay, would that be your takeaway from today? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, it was. You know, I've been lucky because my marathons come down. I've been coming down every time. But this one, <laughs> this one, it was just. It was just so hard out there. It's, I had to. I've never stopped in a marathon before, and I stopped about five times, I think, in the end. Yeah. I don't think you can underestimate what loops do to you as well. No, it's one. It's one thing doing a big course. And sometimes loop, like I enjoy loops, they work in my favour. But when I got, I got to be honest with you, yeah. today with that wind, when I got to the fifth loop, <laughs> I was thinking, how am I going to do another loop? Yeah. How am I going to do another one? Absolutely insane. But yeah, I'm insane, happy with it. Insane, but amazing. You have both absolutely smashed a marathon. <laughs> happy so, flipping days. What is, what, what is it now for marathon celebration? Uh, drive back to London. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to cramp in the car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think Liam just said that he's going to have to stop numerous times. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So McDonald's, baby. Yeah. McDonald's. Definitely. Week off from McDonald's. Yeah. And thanks for the support, Kel. Oh, oh unreal happy? support. Every so single <laughs> lap you were there shouting, cheering. It made the world a difference in weather like today. Oh, I had the easy job. I had the easy job, but I'm sure everybody is going to absolutely love watching how you two battled it. I oh, was epic. Superstars. Epic. Well done. Cheers. No. I'm dying. I feel polite now. Oh my god, I know. There's your medal. I've got there's biscuits over there and medals. <laughs> Go on Andy, you can do it. Oh Lee. <laughs> oh dear. The aftermath. <laughs> the marathons are not pretty. The marathons are not pretty. Oh, sugary tea, baby. Oh, let's get you in the warm, mate. Get in the